Has HPV confused you enough? Do you know what strains you have? And when should you be concerned? Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's learn a little bit more about HPV. There are over 200 strains of HPV that are present, okay? Now, when you get tested for HPV, it does not specifically tell you what strains you have most of the time. There are lower risk strains that generally will cause genital warts. This can be in the genitals, in the rear, and in your throat. They can cause those cauliflower skin tag like things. They generally don't turn into something like cancer. Then there's kind of like this whole mid-range batch that nobody will really ever know if you do or don't have it. But there are about a dozen to 15 high-risk strains that usually get outlined a little bit more specifically on your pap smear results. Now, those are the ones that we find in the vagina and the cervix. The most concerning of those high-risk strains are 16, 18, and 45. Those are the ones that have the highest association with cervical cancer risk. Just because you have those strains does not mean that you will get cancer. It just means that you will be monitored more closely. So how can you reduce your risk? We've talked about this before. Don't smoke, healthy lifestyle, okay? But the big one is to get the Gardasil 9, which will cover you for some of the low risk strains like 6 and 11 which cause the genital warts and 16 and 18 which are the more high risk strains.